Hello and welcome to PE with Mr. D. Today we're going to be looking at our aerobic system. Firstly, let's define our terms. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. What are systems? Systems are a set of connected things. Our body needs energy for everything, from running, lifting, playing sport, walking, eating, thinking, and talking. But where does this energy come from? The answer is food. As you can see here, all the food that we consume, okay, that is turned into energy, ATP. We'll have a bit of a look at that in a sec. Other things that it's turned into, chemical waste, carbon dioxide, water, and heat. Today, we're gonna to focus on the energy. So what is energy? When we're talking about energy of the body, it's called adenosine triphosphate. Try saying that one. I know it's a bit of a mouthful. Go. Nice work. For short, we call it ATP. So the three energy systems, they all help produce this ATP, the body's energy. We have number one, the ATP PC system. The second is our lactic acid system. And the third is our aerobic system. This is used for long distance exercise. It lasts for three minutes up to an indefinite amount of time. This is for lower intensity exercise. And examples would be marathon, riding or swimming. So why is the aerobic system unlimited? It uses oxygen. Our ATP PC system and our lactic acid, they don't use oxygen. That's why the energy is available quick and they run out after a few minutes. But our aerobic system uses oxygen, so it takes a bit longer to warm up. So theoretically, with fuel, that's our food, and no injuries, you could ride or run or swim forever. Okay, to summarize how the energy systems work together, we have a little diagram here. On this axis, the one going up, that's our intensity. Okay, from zero to 100% effort. On this axis, we have our time, okay, 10 seconds upwards. As we can see, our immediate energy system, our ATP PC system, that is done after about 10 seconds. Then, our lactic acid system takes over from about 30 seconds down to about three minutes. And then we can see our long-term energy system that starts quite slowly, takes a bit of time to warm up, but then it takes over and it lasts a long, long time, producing energy for our body. Thanks very much for watching PE with Mr. D. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Would you like to learn about another topic? Comment below. Thanks everyone.